What is up everybody, Jordan here. In today's video, we're talking about why investing is important and why I feel as if you should stick with it, even if times are tough, even if your investments are going down on paper, why I think you should stick with it and constantly and consistently invest. So this video idea was brought by my brother. We were talking yesterday, we were texting, and we just got on like why we invest. Um, I don't know how we got in the conversation about it why we invest, but we started talking about it and kind of our early beginnings on investing, um, where he started and where I started. And literally, like he was saying, literally a couple of years ago, he didn't know even what a stock was. And he's come so far, so I'm so proud of him. So just this knowledge of investing is so important. And it's so like sad how they don't really, you know, teach us this in school. So that's what I'm here for, trying to shed light on investing why it is important and uh, why you should stick with it. So let's go ahead and jump on in. What is investing? I would say the definition of investing, in my opinion, is setting money aside today for a better tomorrow. So there's two ways. You can like save money, which I don't really recommend. I recommend putting, I mean, obviously have a little emergency fund, but put the bulk of the savings into investments, into assets that uh, generally appreciate in value, that being either stocks, real estate, cryptocurrencies, art. There's so many different assets that could go up in value over time and historically have gone up in value over time. Now, I started investing with uh, dividend stocks. I was pretty heavy in dividend stocks. A dividend is a piece of the profit that a company pays you as literally a thank you for investing in us. So if you buy, say, AT&T stock, they're going to, at and is a business, they go out, make money by people that use their phone service and they make so much money that they don't really know what to do with some of the extra profit. So they literally pay back their shareholders for investing in them. That is basically the simplest form of a dividend. I started out doing that. It is pretty conservative. You can get a yield of factoring in the capital gains. I would say probably eight to 10% a year. That's pretty much how much the S&P 500 moves a year. I started with that. I did that for like six, eight months. And then I started learning about growth things, growth stocks, uh, just growth assets, things that appreciate pretty rapidly, um, possibly in a short amount of time, but usually over time that they appreciate so much, it'll become worth a lot more in the future, but they don't pay you that dividend. Uh, usually growth stocks don't pay you dividends because they're so focused on growth. So I got into uh, Tesla stock. That was pretty much the one that put me on. I learned pretty quickly about it. I learned uh, what they were all about. I learned about the CEO, Elon Musk, followed him on Twitter, just went down the whole rabbit hole of Tesla, of Elon, learned about his different companies and just learned like everything I could. I just soaked in so much information and I was basically on YouTube just watching videos uh on twitter just everywhere learning about it and i started putting money into tesla stock uh in 2019 i didn't have that much money so i put in like a thousand dollars so literally that thousand dollars that i just mentioned that i put into tesla about in 2019 i want to say like april time frame something like that um, we're in year 2021 and that one thousand dollars at the peak of tesla stock tesla has gone down a little bit but at the peak of it, it was worth around $20,000 from $1,000. So imagine if you would have put 5,000 in, 10,000 in. So you can start to see how it can grow pretty rapidly over time. And I wouldn't say Tesla was lucky. I would say I did the research. Um, I took the risk because at the time, you know, people buying into Tesla were pretty scrutinized because it wasn't a good stock. People thought, it was a bubble, it was overvalued, that the company was gonna go bankrupt, it was shorted. So they just had a bunch of negative publicity around the stock, but if you really did your homework, um, you would have been rewarded. So I did that, I started buying a, a lot heavier in 2020, and uh, it's grown over time. And that leads us to today. So Tesla is, like I said, one of my biggest investments right now, but, but I started learning about Bitcoin. Uh, that is another great asset in my opinion that I think will be worth a lot more in the future. So I've, I've been recently buying Bitcoin pretty heavily. I think uh, that's going to be worth a lot more in the future. And I could see like a 10x with that within the next 
within the next two years. So I've been buying that. But to get back to investing as a whole, why is it important? Um, basically, if you want to be able to retire, uh, we, my brother and I, we talked about financial independent retire early, the FIRE movement. Go online, just look up the FIRE movement and go down that rabbit hole. But it's basically, you know, you don't want to work till you're 65. The average age of retirement is like 65 uh, years of age. So I wanted to retire when I was young, when I'm like 30. Right now I'm 20. I have a good, you know, runway ahead of me to give me time to set money aside and to just be like frugal. Uh, that is a part of the, the FIRE movement is to just spend less than you make and use that difference and invest it invest it heavily invest it into things that could possibly appreciate in value very rapidly like bitcoin or tesla so that's what i'm doing and that's my goal is to be able to just be in a position where i have enough money set aside that i don't really have to worry about work or how i'm gonna pay you know that month's rent or mortgage or whatever it is uh, just be in a really comfortable position in life and not really have to worry about money uh, that's my end goal that's what it's all about and that's why i made these that's why i wanted to make this channel so just document that process and also show you guys that it's possible because i started literally at 18 and i plan to just keep making these videos and uh, show you guys the process and the progress of where i'm at in life my brother and I were talking about how a lot of America, we have a problem. We have one big problem is we all pretty much make pretty decent money. If you are, you know, well in your career, 10 years in your career, you're probably making pretty decent money, 75K, 100K, whatever it is. Um, but the problem is we spend too much money. So we spend too much money on cars, on houses, on things that don't appreciate in value. Generally, our liabilities close. So... The thing is, you can either do two options, in my opinion. Um, I would say either cut back on your spending. I use the budgeting app called Mint. Uh, you can go on their website. It's all free. You can link all your uh, credit cards, debit cards, bank accounts, literally everything, your car payment, and it bundles everything online and it keeps you on track so you're not spending too much money per month, per week, per day. Uh, great software. I highly recommend them. I've been using them since I turned 18 and it's pretty cool. You can track everything over time. Literally, I can go back on, I don't know, two years ago on this day. What did I buy? It's pretty cool. So highly recommend them or the other alternative. If you can't, if you can't save enough money because you cut out everything, you're going to have to increase your income. Those are the two options is save money or increase your income you can start a side business uh maybe uber on the side do something to generate a little extra income so you can invest that extra difference uh into things that appreciate in value assets to wrap everything together i really do think investing is important um i try to post on my snapchat i have friends like i said i'm 20 so most of the people on my snapchat are like 20 years old and it's cool to see how it just trickles and people are just starting to invest because of me. I love it. I'm glad I'm able to show you guys and help you guys and show you that there is another alternative. If you're not going to be a freaking pop star, or rock star, making millions of dollars a year, you can literally just live a pretty average life and live very comfortably if you invest. And that is why I think investing is so important is it's another alternative and i think it's fundamental to life if you want to live a pretty stress-free life a happy life uh, not that money is happiness but it can sure help you out um, in a lot of ways so with that being said guys hopefully you like this video i just wanted to make this quick video why investing is important if you guys have any other topics that you like me to cover please leave a comment down below with the topic that you think i should cover and if I think it's a good idea, I'll go ahead and do it. So, yeah, guys, like this video and share this video with somebody you think might find this helpful. It does help out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.